I'll tell you, I don't think there's anything that Ed Wilson doesn't know about ultralight and microlight engines and airframes. We're inside the Kansas Air Museum now, and this is an old Curtis OX-5. Even though they were produced by the thousands, there are only a few working OX-5s on some of the Curtis Jennies still flying. Our next interview is with a man who knows a thing or two about engines. He's another Hopper Hill pilot, and his name is Jim Goswick. Jim flies one of the early birds of the ultralight world, the pterodactyl. His pterodactyl is powered by a Cuyuna two-stroke. Now, even though the Cuyuna engine is not generally known for its dependability, Jim has hundreds of hours flying time on the Cuyuna that powers his dactyl. He's going to let us in on some of his secrets. 